afternoon, everyone. How are you? My name is Amy Williams, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. It is Sunday, September 29th, 2024. I hope you guys are having a great, great day. Um, if you're in Texas or in North Dallas area, it is like 90 degrees, so I would love to say it's fall, but it's really not. Um, those of you that are in, the, in a world of fall, I'm so jealous for you. Um, if you were in the uh, path of the hurricane that just went through, just know that my thoughts and prayers are with you. My son lives in Georgia, so um, I was watching that pretty closely. So um, prayers go out to you. I hope you're. I hope you're okay. Um, I'm really excited about today because honestly, when I came up to the craft room, do you ever have one of those days when you have? no idea what you're going to do when you get in here. Sometimes I come up here and I was like, oh, this is in my head. I'm going to, I'm going to do this today. Nothing. There was nothing in my head. And I told my husband, I said, Hey, I'm going to go upstairs and, you know, do my video. And he's in his head. I know he went, okay, we'll see you in six hours because sometimes it takes six hours. Um, but today y'all, everything just came together. Um, so I was kind of playing around and I got a bunch of paper, you know, holiday paper that's in the new mini that I, absolutely love we've got some fall paper I was like oh I'm gonna do that it's gonna be so pretty and then I went okay and so I get all that out I was like I just don't know what I want to do uh, and, and then I had a scene in my head I kind of want to do but I don't want to do it yet because it was a night scene and I kind of did that last week and it's like no not yet I can't do that um and then I also saw Mary Kay and so I got distracted and opened my box of Mary Kay that came um, and had green lips, green eyeshadow that I'm in love with, but I digress. So in that are these little packing peanuts. And I went, you know what? We're gonna use packing peanuts today. And so this, my distraction became my card. So let me flip it and show you what we're gonna do. All right, let's see. Okay, here we go. Okay. Here is, here is my card. Isn't that cool? I am really excited. Now, this is a layout that, you know, you've probably done before. You've were like, Amy, you know, we've done layouts like this. And, and you have, but I'm really showing you this technique that we're going to do. And I'm really excited about it. And so, we're going to do it. Now, we're going to use the same colors, but we're going to do a little bit of different color scheme because I don't like to do the same thing always. So this one, I use blueberry bushel. So in the card I'm going to do for y'all, we're going to do pretty peacock. And so we're going to see how that plays out and what we think. If I don't like it, then I'll just skip it and go back to blueberry bushel and call it a day. Okay. So honestly, this card came. I found this this is the same size, okay? I had two of these little pieces and I just went, oh, I'm gonna see what happens when I use these um, packing peanuts, okay? So I'm gonna set this here. I'm actually kind of keeping it there. Mainly, no, I'm not. Um, I'm gonna put it like this because then you're, you're not gonna be able to see. You're gonna go, Amy, don't be an idiot. I can't see. Please make sure that you don't cover the camera and I am covering the camera. So let's see, um, I do have grid paper. So let me get grid paper, paper, grid paper. Did you hear that? Woo. All right. Okay. Let's just put the grid paper down and call it a day. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to, no, I'm not. I'm going to lift it so I get more of what I'm doing in frame. Okay, so there, there we go. Okay, so we're going to start with this right here, okay? And the colors that I chose this week are Blueberry Bushel, Pretty Peacock, and Bubble Bath. I never use bubble bath, and look, my nails are kind of bubble bathy. Um, it's not a really, it's honestly, it's not one of my favorites. It's just, it's just not. If I'm gonna pick a pink, it's nine times out of 10 going to be um, pretty in pink, because I love it. But we're gonna use this, because you know what? I wanted to. So I'm gonna take my, um, what is this thing? 
What are these things? Packing peanuts, okay? If you don't have packing peanuts, which not everybody does, you can use anything, okay? You can use a sponge dauber if you wanted, I or a sponge. Like, I would actually go with a sponge, mainly because, here's the thing, I like the texture that this gave, okay? You know, I get made fun of because I keep things. Um... I do, I keep things and I do get made fun of. Okay, so that that's that, okay? Now I am also gonna do not only this, I'm also gonna do my card. So I'm gonna take my card front and I'm gonna go ahead and fold it, okay? Let me get my bone folder here. I'm gonna get this folded and I'm gonna do the edges of this too, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that while I'm doing this. So I'm just going around with the pink. Now just know that the pink is kind of a background color and it doesn't show as much as the others, but I want a little bit coming out. So we're gonna go all the way around it. And if you get in, it doesn't matter because it's gonna be covered anyway. Okay, so we're gonna kind of do this. Let's get all the way around. I love how the just the texture of this. I just think it's cool. Okay, the next color I'm going to use, I'm going to close this up. We are going to need them again, but I'm going to do that kind of separately. Okay, the next color I'm going to use is Pretty Peacock. Okay, let me get myself another packing peanut. And then I'm going to dab it in. And then again, I'm just going to move this. I want you to see the whole thing, guys. I do want you to see the whole thing. Okay, and then I'm gonna dab. Isn't this a neat little look? I just think it's fun. Um, I think I mainly like it because um, it, it just adds that texture. I just think it adds texture that I like, and that's really um, what I'm gonna do. And if you're in my stamp club, you are going to be doing this, so. Hang tight, people. Okay, I just think this is cool and we're gonna be doing it in Stamp Club. All right, so I've done Pretty and Peacock. Pretty Peacock, not Pretty in Peacock. Pretty Peacock. And now I'm going to do Blueberry Bushel. Okay, just get it on there like that. And you're gonna go like this. Like, isn't that cool? I just think it's neat. I just do, I just think it's neat. And if you want, um, if you don't want the texture, you could smush it, but like I just did there. <laughs> you see how that kind of looks? Like, see if you wanted to smush it, you could. It's okay if I do that because it's not gonna show. I was just showing you that because um, I thought you'd wanna see it. You might not care, but I thought, oh, that'd be cool. Okay, so there's that. Just know we're covering this. We're really only needing the edges of that. I'm happy with this. I think this looks cool. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna cut this to, um, this is one inch, and I'm gonna cut it to one inch by five. Okay, so I'm gonna take my cutter and I'm just gonna cut it real quick. Um, don't ask me why I didn't already make it that size, uh, mainly. I don't know why, I just didn't. Okay, so let's see. What else are we gonna do? Oh, I know the sentiment uh, or um, let's go ahead now let's go ahead and do the um circle so um the stamp set that we are using is called you are beautiful i think this is i don't know what there is about this but i just think this is absolutely gorgeous and i'm I will use this again because I think it's a beautiful stamp set. I love the words that it has. Um, I love the proverb. It's too big. This is too big for um, what I'm doing today. Um, but I think I'm going to use Make Today Amazing. In, the, in my sample card, I used Thanks a Million um, from Sweetly Scripted, which I do love. But um, we're not going to do that right now. All right, we're going to go. We are going to go ahead and do this. Now, I used, okay, here's the thing. Spotlight of Nature. I love, love, love the stamp set. Okay. Um, 
I could open it. it I love all of the ones it has. Um, I'm just kind of a boring girl, so I went with this, okay, and I used that. I cut that, used that one right there, the smallest on this page. Now, I cut one out in this larger size, okay, but to me, the mat, it, it was too big. This was just, it was just too big, and I didn't, I did not love it. So, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to use my punch, my two and three fourths inch. I don't think you can see that. It's such a glare. Two and three fourths inch, th two and three eighths inch punch. I don't know if you can see that, but. And I am using Pretty Peacock this time. So I'm going to go ahead and punch it. Yep, you guessed it. I am using a scrap page. I'm going to go as close to that as I can because I'm going to keep that right there. Y'all, I don't throw things away. I don't like to throw things away. Oh, wow. Look how close I got. Mm, you can't get much closer than that. How cool is that? Okay. So, I'm going to ink this up, and I'm going to stamp it on here. All right. So, I'm going to start with this, and I'm going to ink this up with the um, bubble bath. And I'm going to just straight lay that one, okay? Okay. Then I'm gonna take my Pretty in Pink. Nope, Pretty Peacock. And I'm gonna dab it on here. Again, you are gonna get these little things, okay? And then I'm gonna set this to si aside because I am gonna use it in just a moment. Um, and then I'm gonna get my um, Blueberry Bushel and I'm just gonna kinda, you kinda see them. You kinda see the, the places and so. There is that, and I'm gonna put it right on here like this. I'm gonna go to the top, I'm gonna straight down, straight up, and look. Now, every time's gonna be a little bit different, but isn't that pretty? Oh, I just think that's neat. All right, now I do wanna do this to the inside of my card, all right? And I don't know if I showed you that. I did do that on the other card. So we're gonna do the same thing. However, please make sure that you clean your stamp in between, okay? Um, just because you're gonna put this back in to um, the the uh, pink, so you don't you don't want to um, have it um, have other colors on it, okay? So there is my um, bubble bath. I always want to call it bubble gum. I don't know why, but I do. And half the times I probably do call it bubble gum, and you're like, it's bubble bath, you idiot. Um, some people will just tell me that, but it's okay. Um, I'm used to it. So, okay. So, I'm just kind of lightly going on with this. Just kind of, just, you know, and you can kind of see where the different colors are. And then I'm going to put it right here just because, you know, sometimes it's nice to have the inside done. Totally different look every time, but I love it. I just think that is gorgeous. All right, I'm gonna put this aside. I've used that. I'm going to close this. I'm going to close this. All right, so, oh, no, I'm not going to close this. I changed my mind on what stamp set I wanted to use, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, I, I just did. I decided I wanted to use Make Today Amazing. And because I just thought that was a, a nice um, sentiment and I haven't used it. So I'm going to pull it out um, right now and I'm going to put it on here. Okay. And I'm going to pull out this white. Now this is the one I had planned to use. I don't know if this is going to fit. So you know what? We're going to see if this fits on here. And I don't know if it's going to, so we'll see. Hmm. Did it? <gasps> it did. It did. Look at that. You know, if you know me, you may not know. Y'all, I love to use these half inch strips that we get. I love them, I think they're amazing, and I use them all the time. Now, I actually am going to do things a little bit different on this card than I did with the other card, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and adhesive this down, okay, right now, onto there, okay? And I'm gonna find my adhesive that I have lost. It's probably like 
right in front of my face, but it's missing. Oh, you know what? On the floor, that's me. Okay, so let me see. I'm gonna do this. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do a little a little tricky tip here. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on here like this, and then I'm gonna cut it to make it fit. Okay, but then we're gonna make we're I want a little I want one of those little V things. Okay. We don't have a punch anymore, and so I'm not gonna use a punch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the little V thing, okay? But oh, I'm not gonna use this color because that's gonna end up showing, and I'm gonna do it on the back, and it's not gonna show. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this, okay? And I'm gonna, so you can see if I do it like that, but if I do it like this, you can see this is the middle. I don't know if you can see. All right, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna eyeball it, and I'm gonna put a dot right there, okay? So then it's right there, and hopefully you can see that little dot. Can you see it? Okay, then I'm gonna take my snips, and I'm gonna snip from here to the dot, and here from the dot. Now, there are a lot of people in this crafty world who would just have just done it and they would have done a great job but you know what I'm not one of those people I can't do things straight I just can't so and I think I'm gonna take this off just a tad on this side okay so I'm gonna do like that all right so there's that now let's put this beauty together all right we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it on this pretty peacock okay so Again, y'all, I see people using so, so much um, adhesive. You really don't need it. You really don't. And I can see that that's a little bit over the top. So we're going to do that. Boop. Okay. And then I have a piece of pretty peacock right here. All right. I've got this. Now, I went ahead and did this. This is, um, I die cut, um, nope, I embossed this uh, piece of uh, basic white with our plaid, which I love this new plaid. It is in the, um, it is in the um, catalog, the, the new catalog, and I just think it's gorgeous. Now, I will say, I do, you know, add a, probably a little bit extra on this because it is um, raised. So, I'm going to do that, then I'm going to put this right here. Look at the difference between just having the blue and the peacock. I don't even know which one I like better, but um, you know, I I do it. And I'm going to kind of use, oh wait, hold on, let's see, there and there. Okay, so I've got that there. Now I'm going to do Make Today Amazing, just like that. I love it. And then I'm going to, oh, let's put this on here. Okay. Okay, now I am gonna make a bow. Okay, see, do you see the mat on that is better? I just like the mat on that better. So that's gonna go right here. Okay, this is gonna go here, and I'm gonna make a bow, okay? I'm gonna make a bow. Let me, let me put this stuff on first, okay. And I love linen thread, but linen thread does not always love me. In fact, linen thread sometimes says, Ha ha, you thought you were going to do something um, that's not going to work. And that does happen. Um, okay, so that gives up a little interest with the pennant there. I like it. Okay, we're going to put this um, adhesive. Um, can't even think what this is. Um, they're not called pop dots. They're called dimensionals. That's a much more formal word for that. Fancy dimensionals rather than pop dots. Okay, we're gonna put this, I'm gonna put it at a little jaunty angle like you put a cute little hat. And now I want to use, I want to make a bow with um, linen thread. And if you're like me, this makes you insane and you cannot, if you're me, you cannot make a bow with this, all right? You can't, I can't. So I've got a little piece of tape, okay, right there. I've taped it down. And I'm gonna hold this 
and I'm going to take my heat gun and I'm going to heat it, okay? Just like that. I'm going to heat that sucker up. And basically, I'm ironing it. You know, if you know me, you know that my Sundays, I iron every Sunday. Um, as soon as I'm done with my video or whatever, laundry day is Sunday. Laundry day has always been Sunday, and it, it will always be Sunday. I can't do it any other day. I mean, really. Sometimes I'll have a Monday off, and I'll go, oh, I'm going to do some laundry, and I'm like, it's not Sunday. All right, so I'm just going to kind of go like this, okay? It's heated. It just straightens it up a little bit. It's not perfect, but it is, it is better, and so that's why I do that. Okay, now I'm going to cut it, and I didn't, you know what, I didn't heat it. Long. I didn't heat enough of it, actually, to be honest with you. This part right here, I didn't really heat. I need to, because it's going to drive me crazy. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do a little heat. Let's do it. Put a little more heat on it. Now, that's why you tape it down, because, you know. All right. Iron. Okay. Just, just a little bit, it, you know. All right, so I also cannot make a bow to save my life. So I bought this little bow maker on Facebook or on um, Amazon, and here's what I do. I'm going to take it like this, um, and then I'm going to take it like this. Oopsie. Come on, Amy. Do it. You did it fine earlier, and just like that, and then I'm going to tie a knot. And for me, this makes a better bow than anything else. Um, well, than anything else. And then you just tie it. And then you lift it off. And ta-da! You have a bow. Um, and then I'll trim it off. Let's see. I'm going to take that. Trim it. Okay. And there you go. That, for me, works better than trying to tie it. Um, and I want to put him right there. I'm going to get my little glue dot. I think there's like a ton of them that I missed when I was getting the last one off. Yeah, there are like 10 of them that I missed. Um, I'm just going to peel that off like this and then stick it on the back because I don't have good luck with doing it any other way. So I'm going to put that little bow right there like that. All right, then I'm going to do some jewels, okay? And we have these. This is a uh, pretty peacock. These are called Petal Pink and Pretty Peacock Foiled Gems. This is called Regal Foiled uh, Gems. And it has this beautiful green. So that's shaded spruce. That is, um, I don't even know what that is, to be honest with you. Um, probably Melon Mango. I, I'm not really sure. For me, this is Blueberry Bushel and this is Blackberry Bliss. I don't know what that is. I don't know. Anyway, I'm using it. So there you go. It's it's mine. There you go. Okay, so let's put some jewels on here. Definitely want to add and bring home that that um, foil look of these, right? Because um, you definitely want some pretty peacock. But then let's add this pink. I mean, it looks beautiful. Um, let's do one right there. Okay, let's... Oh, I didn't mean to get green. <laughs> We're doing pink, Amy. Let's do a couple on here. Let's maybe do a couple here. All right. Let's do, let's do one here. Okay, and then I wanna do one here and one here. I'm going jewel crazy today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do one more. Let's do another one of these right here, right there. Okay, so we've got this. Have we finished? No, because we haven't put it on the card, right? <laughs> All right, this that, oh yeah, you're going, Amy, that looks awful, but not anymore, it won't, right? Okay, so I am gonna dimensional this up just because we did this background. So I, I feel like if I dimensional this up, it's gonna make that kind of pop. I don't know if that's true, but in my tiny little brain, it does. So we're gonna go with Amy's little brain and say it makes it show up better. And 
just humor me to say, yeah, it does, Amy, totally, yeah, you got this. I don't know if it does or not, but again, again, my little tiny brain. Okay, so we're gonna put this on here. And see, I think that little background just, it kind of just gives you a 3D, I don't know, just a little look. And then you've got your inside, you can write whatever you want. Um, let me know what you think of these cards. I don't know which color I like better. To be honest, I love them both. I think they are both so pretty. And you can see, I went darker on this one than I did on this one. I actually like the darker better. I'm not gonna lie. I do like the darker better than this. I feel like I should have gone a little bit darker. What do you think of the chances are of me not messing this up? Oh, nope. Did I mess it up? I knew I would. But hey. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Because you know there's no mistakes. All right, we're gonna add. We're gonna add. They're just gonna add a little bit more because now that I saw that, I really kind of liked it. And so we're just gonna kind of go around. Huh! And that's not a mistake. Then it's a design element. I love that. Okay. If you're me. Okay. There you go. Just a little extra. There's there you go. Little little fancy extra at the end. Um let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic week. Um, it's the first week of October. Go out, make some friends, have some fun. Um, and you know what? Get crafty because that makes things good. And I will tell you, let me just tell you a little story. Um, we have some fabulous parents at, parents at the school I work at. And one of them... Um, uh, they bought shirts, their company, uh, they own a uh, roofing company, and they bought shirts for every child and every staff member in our school. And if you live in the Allen or McKinney, Texas area, um, I will, I don't even know the name of their roofing company, but I will, I will find it and I will tell you next week or you can ask me because I would definitely use them. So they bought shirts for every child. And so I wrote them a thank you note because in my opinion, that's what you do. And she was so appreciative of that thank you note. And it made me just say, you know what? Yeah, this is why I do it because people appreciate that. So I hope that you have an absolutely beautiful week and we will see you next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.